Hello, travel friends. In this episode, we are going to talk about the cocktail scene in Dublin, Ireland, and give you guys three phenomenal cocktail bars that you, you really, really need to try when you're visiting Dublin, Ireland. So when I was telling Jimmy about the cocktail scene in Dublin, he did not understand. He was like, no, we should be going to pubs. I was like, no, that is where everyone gets it wrong. You don't think of the fact that they make gin, they make whiskey, and so cocktails also really play a key part. And I think what's so unique about Dublin is the cocktail bars, they are a thing. Yeah. Like your bartenders are wearing bow ties. Yeah. It's just an entire vibe. Yeah, the, and the atmosphere, yeah. like the way they decorate it, mm -hmm. it it's, it's, it's a thing, it's an experience. Yeah. First off, we're gonna recommend the Vintage Cocktail Club, otherwise known as VCC. Now this is one of the very few places that I will recommend you going to Temple Bar for. Very nondescript door, you need to make a reservation, which you can do online, and then they open the door for you and you go up, to, it's cozy, velvet, curtains, cushy chairs. Uh, it is one of those spots where you're probably gonna wanna go with a smaller group. Mm -hmm. It was such a surprising experience in the best way possible. I, I was just wasn't expecting it when we went. I just it was it was a blast. They have a booklet. They have so many unique craft drinks. And if you don't know what you want, but you know maybe what you like, your waiter is going to help you pick the perfect drink. So tons of variety. So the next spot we're gonna talk about is called Peruke and Periwig. It's almost like a townhouse or multi-flat, however you wanna kinda of call that, Victorian style. The first floor you come in and there's a bar and it's, it's more normal looking. Yeah. It's still an old, pretty bar. You can have cocktails down there, but you'll wanna make a reservation because every single floor is different. Each floor has a bar and a little cozier, so if you do have a big group, you're really gonna wanna plan ahead with reservations. This place also blew me away. I don't know, I, I never really thought of myself as a cocktail person or a cocktail bar person or a dark velvet lounge person. <laughs> Last but not least, it's called The Blind Pig, and this is a speakeasy. I don't wanna ruin the surprise about how you can get in to the speakeasy. Um, you will need to make reservations. There's a special way to get into the blind pig. They will let you know once you make that reservation. So I do wanna keep it a little anonymous. I think I'm gonna wrap it up by saying that I felt like the, the price point for these places, they're all very, very reasonable, mm -hmm. especially if you're coming from the US. And also, most people should probably eat before going to these places. All right, uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see us again. And if you guys know of any really, really cool cocktail bars that we didn't mention, definitely list them below in the comments and we will check them out next time. All right, happy mm -hmm. travels. Bye.